Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, all praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha, Rakakwadash. Have honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, rule well and teach well, as well as the sincere salutations to your hopeful elect Akim. Right? Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha, Rakakwadash, brought a thumb to you, brothers, man. <clears throat> uh, so, this is uh, based on a live uh, last night. Uh, live video last night uh, going into Juneteenth uh, so I'm just going to play a, uh, play a little bit of it uh, Lord's will uh, this is edifying oh, and that's the spirit because I, I had liked it a couple seconds ago and right as I had liked it I guess somebody else uh, it pressed the like button as well because at first it only had one then I liked it and it said two now it has three so all praises man <clears throat> You know, this small sanctuary, you know, out in uh, Mobile, you know, they, hey, through the spirit and power of Yah, by Hashem, Yah, Shai, hey, get the video may only have, what, what is it right here? Nine views. That's all right. That's all right. This, this word is not going out uh, void, man. It's reaching exactly who it needs to uh, reach. First foremost, so before we get into it, you know, we're going, first foremost, we're going to give our other glory to the Howard by Hashem, the Howard by Hashem, Pastor Dax, double honors to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, rule web, and a great example to his young brothers in the truth. Peace and blessing to the uh, old folks. And um, we you know just do a quick listen going into the Juneteenth because you got people having Juneteenth parties and shit. You know talking about Juneteenth, talking about slavery, we free, you know, and all this shit. But ultimately, we still in captivity. We still in captivity. You know. Uh, That's what I was gonna start with. No, nah, I don't want to start with that one because I, I got a title, some different. Grab that mark. We'll start there. Got it. Um, yeah, this mark one and 15. Um, it says, I'm going to start at 14. It says, now after that John was put in prison, Yahweh Shah came unto Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of our power and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of our power is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Yeah, because that's what we coming with. We coming with the gospel, the good news, because that's what gospel means, the good news of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Well, we truly going to be free. Because you niggas run around hollering about you free, uh, a masculine proclamation, we were freed, and 18, no nigga, you, you still in captivity, man. You still, in, in, you just not in hardcore bunny anymore. But you still, you still enslaved. Why? Because you got social security card. You got paid hella fucking taxes. We in the revised Roman Empire, just like in the Roman Empire, we wasn't in chain shackles and shit like that. But we had, we was, uh, we had to pay we were taxed by the Romans in our whole land rule. You know, we was in the land still, but we were heavily taxed. Just like today, we heavily taxed here in America, Babylon the Great. Though we not in hardcore bundles, working in fields, cotton fields and shit like that. We still in bondage, man. You know, because you can't leave this country without getting a passport. You can't leave this country and move to another country. Uh, or without trying to get citizenship and all that shit, that's not free, man. Free is no. you can do what you want, when you want, how you want, you know. And you should be able to select it. Like, hey, you should be able to go into another fucking leave this bitch, go into another fucking country, and buy you a house with fucking freedom. Yep. If Fuck you a was, passport. Huh? Yep. You you should need no guy. If you was free, you wouldn't need a a a, a ID. Exactly. A birth certificate. Tag on your damn uh, car. A, a social security number. <laughs> God. You know? 
these are all things showing you uh, 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 what they call it. Uh, I, well, I think Apostle Boy always going to, I think he, it's prenuptial agreements. Some shit like that. You 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 born, you got you got a birth certificate, your parents got to sign it. Now prenuptial agreement is prenuptial agreement when you get married and you keep what you got, you know what I'm saying? You but, sign that prenuptial agreement, you keep what you got, she keep what she got. That's prenup. Yeah, that, that's the wrong word. Oh yeah, yeah, come. Damn, what is, it's called something. It's, it ain't describe describe what you talk about again. It's it's you know how you 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 um you got all these you know, like your social security card. Um and I with the government. Yeah, your birth certificates and all that. Um, a contract uh, with the government. Like a, a privilege or some benefits. Um. Uh, well, I, I don't know what it's I, called, but basically, all those things tie you in and, and show that another entity have ownership of you. Credentials. Well. Huh? Credentials. Yeah, all Something that. Something like that. Yeah, all that that ain't the word, but it's so mm. it's so, I, I I can't think of it. But it showed that um that that you 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 are owned by somebody. Your social security number, all that shit, you gotta sign a birth certificate and all that old dumb shit. That's showing that you belong to somebody. They Hell track yeah. you, you track by your social security, man. You think we're gonna have social security numbers in the kingdom of heaven? Fuck you know. Have- Social security numbers when we were in our homeland, Jerusalem. Hell no. And and all these different things, man. No, man. <laughs> we were truly free. We were sovereign. You know? We still up underneath the same people who put us in captivity. They still running the world. You know? But you you, you can go with it on whoever got that. Um, he had a point in that mark was just repent and believe the gospel. And that's what we come week in and week out. To tell you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you niggas celebrating June Pink, but you still in captivity, man. You know, Freedom Day, nigga, you not free. You're, you, you got uh, whoever got that Baruch. This is the uh, <clears throat> this is the book of Baruch. Chapter 3 and verse 1. O Lord Almighty, power of Israel, the soul in anguish, the troubled spirit crieth unto thee. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful, and have pity upon us because we have sinned before thee. Yep. For thou endureth. You got it. Okay. For thou endurest forever, and we <laughs> perish utterly. O Lord Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites yep. and, and of their children. And it's not talking about literal dead Israelites, which it can be, because, you know, A1, when, when we wrongfully put the death, our spirit cried unto the Lord. You know, but we were in that dead state in, in Babylon, man. That dead body shall lie in the, in the streets of that great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Why our Lord was crucified, but now we are we are becoming alive. Hey, the Lord sent the Spirit down unto us, and we becoming uh, living souls. But you got it up. Come, Baruch, Baruch three and four. O yep. Lord Almighty, thou thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children, which have sinned before thee. And not hearken unto the voice of thee, their power. Yeah, and that's uh, why we. Yeah, that's why we in this situation because the Lord, uh, uh going back to the, the first covenant, the Lord made a contract with us, a covenant, blood covenant with us. Keep my commandments and live. If you don't keep my commandments, I'm put these curses on your head. And that's where we at today, you know, underneath our enemy. Still in this land, you still got to go to this man for the want of, want of all things. Somebody grab Deuteronomy uh, 28. And you start at uh, uh, 45, if I ain't mistaken, to 48, and then jump to 60. Whoever grab it. But you, you got it. Uh, I got it. Yeah, uh, you got it, y'all. You keep going. Come on. 
four, chapter three, uh, continuing Baruch chapter three and verse four, and not hearken unto the voice of thee, of thee their power, for the which caused these plagues cleave unto us. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but yep. think upon thy power. Oh, sorry. But think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. But thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O oh Lord, will we praise. Yeah, and that's what our that's what our people should be doing, thinking upon the Lord our power, man. Thinking upon the Lord, seeking the Lord while he may be found, calling upon him while he is near. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Long as you see us doing this work, making these videos, teaching this word. Uh, teaching the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, mercy is extended unto you. You can repent. You you can come back to the Lord if you're a part. And only the only thing do this, man. You know. Yeah. And then, then we we going through basic scriptures. You know, ba the everything basic. This ain't nothing deep or hard. We are the Israelites. We sinned against our power. We underneath the curses. We still in captivity. Captivity. Underneath the so-called white man. Uh, you got it. Up. Uh. Uh, Baruch chapter three, verse six. Uh, for thou art, for thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. For this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise yeah, thee in our country. The name we gonna call upon thy name, so we gotta know what the name is, and the name is Yahweh. That's the name of the heavenly Father. He is, he is, he is. and his son' name is Yahweh Shai. You know, in our captivity, all these uh, curses cleaved unto us, and the Lord put His fear in us, man. Oh, slavery, hardcore kept that transatlantic slave trade was the worst slavery known to man. You know, that was the Lord putting this fear in us. You got it up. Uh, Ruth chapter 3, verse 7. And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all all the all the iniquity of our forefathers. Yeah, and then before that's what when I start you just you know, Paul, Paul hold that spot up, uh, don't let it go. You know. Okay. The spot when I start talking. You no. Know, but um um and that's what happened. We in our captivity and those of the elect are gonna don't call to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers. You know? Damn we went out, damn we broke this law, we broke that law. Because Contrary to proper belief, when you was in Christianity, you thought it was just the Ten Commandments. You know, you really ain't, uh, they ain't teach you that you had 613 laws. They ain't teach you that eating pork was abominable. They ain't teach you that cutting your beard was, you know, uh, wicked tattoos and all this. What you would hear about it, but it wasn't enforced. It wasn't taught. You know, you, you weren't taught in Christianity to keep the law, set and commandments of your house by showing your house shot. But uh, amongst the Israelites is being pushed, the ways of the Lord are being pushed in the earth. Righteousness is being pushed in the earth, you know. And we we understand, hey, like the scripture in Micah say, we are bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against Him, man. So that's what we doing. We acknowledging our faults. When you repent, you acknowledging where you go off your shortcomings, where you where you go off it, and and you and you crying out into the Lord. And that's what we doing, man, to this day. You know, but we at the very Sorry. end of this thing. But you got it up, uh, Salaki. I got a, I got a precept if I may uh, before I finish oh. reading. Well, finish uh, it out then, Greg. Come, because we, we uh, don't. Come, Baruch chapter three verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, when thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear 
to understand wisdom. Yeah, and, we, we, and we we pouring out wisdom uh, video after video, week in and week out. And the wisdom is the words that you have, but you have a shot. You got it, huh? Uh, it's, it says, uh, 3 and 10, it says, How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art waxen old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with, with the dead, that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. For if thou hadst walked in the way of Yahweh, thou shouldest have dwelled in peace forever. Yep, and that's the point. You, you can stop right there. Yep. Okay. And hey, if they want, go read. Go read the whole chapter, you know. Hey, you, you heard what it says. It say if we would have walked in the way of the Lord, we would have dwelt in peace forever. Going back to that first covenant. You know, we didn't do that. That's why we under these curses. We in our captivity. But you can get your priest up. And if brothers got free, got them. And then I, you can grab that dude around me. Uh, this is just going into the name uh, of Yahweh. You know, uh, this is just to back up the point that you were saying that his name is, uh, you know, he is, he exists, right? Hebrews eleven six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shemayah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Right by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai. He is salvation. So when, you know, the name of, when you have the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is, you know, basically like mirrors you know, mirrors that, you know, he is salvation, you know, like that's our, you know, that's our mediator. That's basically our only way out. We can't just get out by Yahweh. We need Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Yeah, because Yahushua is the one who died for our sins. Yahushua died for us to have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we pushing in the earth today, man, you know? Yeah, how was that? had to put his life on the line for us to get the kingdom. He had to lay down his life, man. He laid down his life for his friend. Come. I got a precept, if nobody, if you finish. Come, um, come. This is Baruch chapter 2, starting at 27. This is Oh Lord, our power. Thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all the great mercy of thine. As thou speakest by the servant, by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nation where I will scatter them. Yep. And Verse that's and we ain't together no more. The Lord scattered us amongst the nations. Mm -hmm. so, the, the, you know, the, the mass majority of Israelites in America, but we scattered all in every nation, man. Israelites are everywhere. Every nation and country under the sun, you got Israelites there, man. You know, who who been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Everywhere in Russia, Israelite, China, Israelite, India, Israelite. Oh, the Middle East there, Israelites there, Africa, Israelites, America, Canada, South, wherever you go. You got Chinese Israelites. Israelites. What you say, uh, Chinese Israelites, if yeah. you haven't already said. Yep, in China, J Japan. Mm -hmm. All in the We were scattered all over the place, man. Uh, and, and, and you ain't gonna, if you scattered amongst other nations, <laughs> hundred or at least a hundred years, you're not gonna look like an Israelite forever. You know, you're gonna take the features of, of whatever nation you scattered the most, man. After so many years. Mm -hmm. In verse thirty, it says, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is the stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves." And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them an heart 
and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. You know, yeah, and that's what the elect doing right now, man. That's mm -hmm. what the elect doing right now. We praising the Lord in the land of our fucking captivity. We ain't celebrating these stupid ass hell of days, man. Man, motherfuck right. this shit, man. Motherfucker birthday, motherfucker Christmas, motherfucker Thanksgiving, motherfucker so called New Year, man. Motherfucker goddamn right. Juneteenth. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. What the fuck Speaking of that, um, I, I was holding that um, that definition. When the dog come back, he can share my screen. You know that um, Juneteenth definition. I don't know if it, you you can just read. Okay. Yeah, I don't, don't share the screen. I don't know. I think there's too many of this. Huh? Yeah, it ain't gonna share the screen. You good? This is, <clears throat> this is the book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 7. Since the days of our fathers have have we been in a great trespass until this day. Alright, so even, you know, even our forefathers, you know, our, for, our forefathers went off, man. Our forefathers, you know, our, our forefathers, although they weren't celebrating, uh, they weren't celebrating Juneteenth back then because it didn't exist. They were celebrating other, you know, different celebrations and things that they wasn't supposed to be celebrating you know because is it's not wrong um with celebrating uh you know high uh high holy days you know and things of that nature you know yet you're not yet you're not supposed to be celebrating these different um you know these different hella days like we call them man these are hella days man these are like Juneteenth is set up just basically to confuse and to keep Jake down, man. And and, and really Esau is checking your temperature. Every time you you know, Esau looking and he kinda gauging Jake based on how he react to the holidays. Right? Because and that's how you know that this place, the illusion of this place, the illusion of Babylon the Great is starting to fade away because, you know, niggas was Going in on Juneteenth, niggas was going in on Valentine's Day and, 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 and you know all all this different bullshit. Now you can see that even Jake, you know, even Jake that's just in the world, just average, regular ass Jake, he you don't see him lining up to buy, you know, flowers and, and, and things of that nature, man. This place is through. All right, the uh, the mirth here is gone. All right. And why is that? Cause you thought you thought you was gonna be able to just chill out. You was just gonna be able to celebrate these different days. Do do everything that you continue to do. Jake don't understand that the Lord is intervening. The Lord is intervening. The Lord is putting an end to this shit. All right. <clears throat> uh, Ezra nine and seven continuing. It says, "If for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests." been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face as it is this day. So now look at us. Scattered abroad, you know, you subject, you you basically subject to wherever you at. You know, the Israelites are, are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, and no matter where you at, Jake, you at the bottom. Anywhere you at, Jake at the bottom. Yet yeah, Jake is the most talented. Jake is the most um, uh, honorable. You know, even even a uh, you know even a wicked ass, you know, two thirds nigga. You know, what I mean, if you sitting on the bus, you know, and you got you know you got Jake, and you got Jake, and then you got the heathen. You probably are gonna sit, you know. Next to Jake, that's what you would think, right? No, man. <laughs> Jake, man, Jake is Jake. Don't under Jake don't understand. Jake think that this shit is gonna continue to go on, man. Jake really believes that that we are gonna continue this shit. This is this is done. This is through. Anybody with half a brain knows that we at the end of this thing, man. Okay. Yet 
you know, two thirds of Israel, they're not going to wake up. They're, you know, they're going to be subject to all of this and still they're not going to repent. Okay. And the hundred, the 144,000 and the one thirds of Israel are going to repent, are going to turn back, turn to Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay. And be delivered by Yahweh Shem Shai, by Hashem HaRakakadash. Right, uh, let me read it from the top. Ezra 9 and 7. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. Yeah, so we've been tripping. All right? And for our iniquities have we, all right, and for our iniquities, because of our iniquities, because sin upon sin, have we, right, the Israelites, our kings, our priests. All right, so we were once kings, we were once priests, we were once, you know, a great people, man been delivered into the hand of the kings of the land so scattered all throughout the four winds of the earth being subject slaves all right to captivity and to a spoil so look at our people man look at our people our people are fucking spoiled man they're through they're ransacked they're ravaged okay ran through into and to confusion of face as it is this day so now that you got jake you know here it is. Jake may look like, you know, you got certain uh, people like, uh, you know, they say Manny Pacquiao. We always give the example of Manny Pacquiao. You know, we believe Manny Pacquiao to be a Jake because that's not no average, you know, so-called, you know, Filipino. <laughs> no, that's a Jake right there, man. That's a Jake. That confusion of face, brother, right there, man. You know? absolutely absolutely beautiful okay and that's that's part of the curses part of the curses is now okay you Jake look <laughs> Jake look you don't know how Jake coming you know that's why as the Lord is calling brothers into this thing you see uh, a great millstone camp it, each brother look different each brother got a you know each brother has uh uh you know, certain attributes like a, you know, uh, facial hair, you know, your face is, um, you know, uh, unshaven, you know, you don't, you don't have a crispy ass lineup yet. You know, each brother looks different. You may have a brother who looks like a so-called white man yet his line goes back to Israel and the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai shows forth, you know, through that brother, man. You know, I'm thinking of a brother in my mind uh, right now. He's a uh, part of the, uh, I think he's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's somewhere in Georgia. But, you know, the brother, the brother looks like a so-called white man, yet, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, was shot, right? And that spirit, you know, showing forth through the brother, you know, right, that, hey, he's, he is, he's an Israelite, okay? Uh, so... Uh, this, you know, went on a little bit longer than I expected, but it's all to the spirit. So with that, Lord's will, you are edified. Call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, rule well, and teach well, as well as the sincere salutations to your hopeful elect, Akim. Right? We're pushing this word in sincerity and in faith all throughout the four months of the earth. Keep pushing. Keep striving. All right? Hey, 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 hey keep climbing. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, man. We almost up out of here, man. We almost up out of here. You know, we, we, okay, we, let me, let me get that. Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yes, yeah, so we're, we are in our last captivity. America is our last captivity. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be 300 years from now. Now we in a whole new land somewhere, be, you know, being subject to the nations. No, man. It ends here. It ends here in America. The Lord, the Lord is going to completely destroy this place, and he's going to save his elect. He's going to save the elect of the nation of Israel, right? Let me read that again. Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, 
All right. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. So yeah, now, now, you know, it seemed like, it seemed like shit. It seemed like Esau going through, you know, going through it worse than Jake in, in, in certain ways, you know. Uh, he will discover thy sins. So now you're being exposed. Now you're being exposed. Now everybody talking about uh, the so-called white man. Now, now, now they may not know that, you know, he's a devil that the Bible speaks of. But in a general sense, you just ask the average American, man. He, he dealt with you. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares about the self-proclaimed white man. You know, that's why this nigga gonna have to uh, show his horns, man. He gonna try to basically get the world back in line, so to speak, with that CHIP. That's gonna be a, you know, that's, that's it's all about control. This nigga Esau, he losing control. Okay, he's losing control. He's losing his grip. Okay, and it's a beautiful thing to see, you know, the downfall of our enemy. And eventually we will see the captivity of our enemy, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we're going to see you nations, man. You're going to be slaves, man. And it's co it's coming. The Lord is the Lord coming back. Okay, he's coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha'arikat Kodash. All right, once again, double honors to the elder apostles of GMS, Grand Millstone. All right, from the elder apostle to down. Enough respect to you brothers out there, man. Keep pushing. Shalom.